back once again to your ERC Ejume YouTube channel. Last class, we had a discussion on Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam sir, speech I will fly. Where Dr. Kalam exhorts everybody to be unique in his or her own way. There are many people who have proved their uniqueness even while fighting adversities or problems in their lives. And they had limitations. They had a very hard fight against their struggles, adversities and limitations. And each and every one proved to be unique in his or her own way. So this session mainly highlights a profile of Stephen Hawking, which reveals how he has overcome his disabilities to become the supernova of uh, physics. The emerging star after the explosion in the star's life cycle. That is what he has become the supernova of physics. Now let us go for the writer Kitty Gale Ferguson's uh, profile of quest for a theory of everything, questions great to desire or ambition for a theory of everything, the profile of uh, Kitty Gale Ferguson. Let us look at the profile of uh, Kitty Gale Ferguson. Kitty Gale Ferguson is a science writer, lecturer, and a former professional musician. She has authored, authored means uh, has written numerous, a great number of numerous means uh, several number of uh, science books including books on biographical facts. Now let us see the characteristic of Ferguson's works. Kitty Gail Ferguson's works are recognized popular for or famous for their degree of detail and accuracy. So think about the explanations or the events, the details. So her works are popular for the degree of the details of her works and the accuracy, the precision of the details. She is known for her ability to explain very complicated scientific concepts, ideas. So she is very skillful to explain. So better known for her ability means very skillful to explain very complicated scientific concepts concepts or ideas. So she is uh, highly able to explain very complicated. Complicated opposite is a simple but this is complicated scientific concepts. That is the ability of a Kitty Gale Ferguson and she has uh, authored profile titled uh, Quest for a Theory of Everything. Let's come back to the text. So, we 
came across her file of Kitty Gale Ferguson and her detailed profile of Stephen Hawking titled A Quest for a Theory of Father of The first paragraph of the profile starts dramatically. In the Cockcroft lecture room on April 29, 1918, scientists and university dignitaries gathered in steep tiles of seats facing a two-story wall of chalkboard and a slide screen. The occasion was the inaugural lecture by a new location professor of mathematics, the 38-year-old mathematician and physicist Stephen Hawking. So here I am going to explain certain important words from the first paragraph. Please underline Cockcroft uh, Lecture Room. Cockcroft. Cockcroft Lecture Room. Another one is a uh, steep tires of seats. Then chalkboard and slide screens. Chalkboard and slide screens. Then please underline location professor. Location professor, all these explanations I will give you and you will understand better with the visuals. Yes, look at the first picture. That is Cocroft Lecture Room. Cocroft Lecture Room. Then the next picture is Steep Tires of Seeds. Steep tires of seats. Just look at that picture. Steep tires of seats arranged in the Cockcroft lecture room where university dignitaries are seated. That is a very important. Try to understand the structure of a tire. Steep tires of seats. Steep tires of seats. Now let us go for slide screens. Look at uh, slide screens. You must have a uh, while you go for learning the concepts or the images. Okay, the images of uh, these words: Cockcroft lecture room, slide screens, steep tires of uh, screens. Now we will go for an explanation of a supernova. What a positive. Here look at the word supernova. So definition is a large explosion that takes place at the end of a star's life cycle. Otherwise we can say it in another way. It is the explosion of a star. Another word I told you when I was reading the first paragraph of the profile quest for a theory of everything. Location professor pertaining to Henry Lucas. Henry Lucas was a member of parliament for Cambridge University and the founder of Location Chair of Mathematics on the 1st of October 1824 he was elected Fellow of Trinity College and in December 1826 was appointed Location Professor of Mathematics in succession to Thomas Turton, Henry Lucas, and Thomas Turton. 
successively the present mathematicians will have to occupy the location chair which has been held by Stephen Hawking and Sir Isaac Newton. So this chair has been held by Charles Babbage, George Stocks, Paul Dirac and Stephen Hawking. Look at the images of mathematicians and those who are in other fields excellent occupied the chair occupied the location chair. So the first paragraphs difficult words images we have a command. So once again the first paragraph I go for the profile starts dramatically with the arrival of a 38 year old mathematician and physicist Stephen Hawking's entry by explaining the atmosphere. In the Cockroft lecture room, think about the date and year, April 20th, 1980. Scientists as well as university dignitaries gathered in steep tiles of seats. You have seen the images of uh, steep tiles of seats. Facing a two-story wall of chalkboard and slide screen. Now the occasion or the event that was going to happen was the inaugural lecture by a new location professor. We have come across the seat of location mathematics professors of mathematics. The 38 year old mathematician and a physicist named Stephen Hawking. The title of the lecture was a question. The lecture's title or the name of the lecture was a question. Question is, yes or no question, is the end insight for theoretical physics? Is the end insight, is the end insight, is the end insight, yet insight for theoretical physics, for a Theoretical, theoretical physics. Question mark. Theoretical physics. Question marks. Is the end in sight for theoretical physics? That was the title of the lecture. Yes or no question. And Hawking surprised, startled means surprised his uh, listeners by announcing that yes, there is a uh, end in sight for theoretical physics. He declared that there is an end in sight for theoretical physics. By saying this one, he surprised his listeners and he invited them to join him in a sensational escape, an emotional escape through time and space 
to fight to the holy grail of science holy grail of science that i will explain and travel the mysteries of science to fight out the mysteries of science to expose the mysteries of science the theory that explains the universe and everything that happens in it so actually the theory that explains the universe the theory that explains the universe and everything that happens in the universe that is so now let us go for the explanation of a holy grail with an image look at the picture of holy grail holy grail is the cup used by jesus Christ in the last supper with his disciples so the first image is about the last supper of Jesus Christ with his disciples and the second one is the holy grail the holy cup used by Jesus Christ during the last supper so which is untraveling the mystery of her. last supper and crucifixion now stephen hawking is invited the audience to join him for a sensational escape through time and space to untravel or explore the mysteries of science that is the comparison used to here for uh, using the holy grail. Now, you came across the holy grail and the theory that explains the universe and everything that happens in the universe. Stephen Hawking sat silently in a wheelchair while one of his students read the letter to the assembled audience or company judged by appearance alone Hawking didn't seem a promising choice to lead any adventure even though the profile started dramatically when Stephen Hawking appeared complete concept of the audience has gone down they told that uh, he is not a promising choice to lead any adventure because Stephen Hawking sat silently in a wheelchair and one of his students was coming forward and reading his lecture to the assembled uh, university dignitaries and uh, other uh, audience and the judge the way appearance they told that Stephen Hawking is not a promising choice to lead any adventure now we are going to the dynasty or the infant state of uh, Stephen Hawking Stephen Hawking was born Stephen William Hawking was born on 8th January 1948 in Oxford. Oxford is the name of a street in England. The university is situated in the Oxford Street is called Oxford University. So actually Stephen William Hawking was born on 8th January 1942 in Oxford, England. It was exactly 300 years after the death of Galileo. Think about another historical event that uh, talks about the birth of uh, Stephen Hawking. Exactly 300 years after the death of Galileo. Galileo is the father of uh, modern science. Frank, father of Stephen. Isabel Hawking mother that means Stephen's parents were not wealthy 
they were not rich enough but they believed in the value of education so they planned for stephen to go to or to go to westminster a famous public school in the heart of london westminster think about they are not wealthy people but he is and frank parents of stephen hawking understood or believed in the theory of or value of education so they decided to send their son to westminster a famous public school in the heart of lent unfortunately what happened stephen was ill at the time of the scholarship examination scholarship examination for westminster stephen hawking fell ill he could not attend the scholarship examination to enter into westminster public school in the heart of london finally he was ended up in or he attended the local saint albans school so he was joined for education in saint albans school by the time he was 8 years old and he was thinking seriously about becoming a scientist to think about the ambition at the age of 8 stephen hawking was seriously thinking of becoming a scientist but his father frank hawking young created his son hey son no 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 don't become a scientist please try to select the stream of medicine so come across encouraged opposite or antonyms discourage encouraged discourage d i s c o u r a g e d discourage encourage discourage but father frank hawking encouraged his son hello no don't become a scientist please choose the the discipline of medicine but stephen on the other hand found biology too imprecise precise opposite imprecise not at all exact so according to stephen hawking biology is too imprecise but he wanted a subject in which he could look for exact answers and get into the root of the things concreteness of the things he want exactness or exact answers for his strange and penetrating questions and get into the root of the things the basis of concreteness or the fundamentals of the things that is the nature of stephen hawking time to wind up i have given question answers please understand and uh, again and again watch the video and understand it Next. so hope you benefited from the video if you like if you have benefited from the class don't forget to subscribe wish you all the best thank you